Happy birthday, Happy birthday yeah, so today. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. And Carl, our audio guy, his brother Mark, celebrating today, too. Happy so birthday. Happy, Happy birthday, 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 Mark. Mark. Uh, Marcy Locke joining us now, and we're talking New Year's resolutions because here we are again at the end of the year. Everybody makes that one. Every year, I'm going to lose year. weight. I'm going to get healthy. Yes. Jenny joining her, too, by the way. Mm -hmm. And Jenny, we're going to talk to you in just a second. But how come none of us stick to that resolution? Well, we make it every year, right? And why does it never change? And I, one of the concepts I teach is that if you associate more pain and change than pleasure, you're always going to go back to, like, if you associate it's, it's it, eating healthy is hard. It doesn't taste good. But the, to create change, to make that decision, you have to associate more pain and cost in what you're experiencing now and what you're going to keep experiencing if you don't create change and see more mm -hmm. pleasure in change. So it's just that association to, I can't do this anymore. So like for Jenny, she didn't have a lot to lose. So people were like, why the heck did you do the program? But it's, she got to realize what she was experiencing in her life and how she wanted something different. So if I understand right, Jenny is on the tail end of her program yes. that she just went through with you. How many days? Day is 90 is this Saturday. We get to go Day on a ride. there. So, yeah. so I asked... So how much weight did you lose? And she explained to me it's not just about weight loss. This is about a mind and body transformation, which yes. I found so intriguing. So tell us a little bit about your experience. Okay, well, I think the perception of this program is that you have to have a lot of weight to lose to do this. But that's what makes this program so different from the other programs is that it's the mind part of it, and that's why I wanted to do it. I didn't have a lot of weight to lose, but you guys asked me how much time I have spent thinking about what have I eaten, what didn't I eat, how much do I have to work out, what size am I. Yeah. You're obsessed. And how well, mm -hmm. and isn't it's, that the culture? It, it is. I think mm -hmm. women in our culture really struggle with that, and I have just thought there has to be a better way to live life. There has to be more to life. My son for school was adding up his reading minutes, and he loves to read. And so I think he had read, we counted 24 hours in a week that he spent reading. And I thought about that, and I thought, I wonder if we added up minute by minute the amount of time that we spend worrying about what we ate and what we look mm -hmm. like, how many hours or days or months could that add up to in our lives? And so that's why I wanted to do this and program. And I wanted to do so much more with yeah. our lives than spend worrying and, about how this And this works. is more of a lifestyle change. It's not, mm -hmm. it's not a matter of a diet. Oh, no. I, I know at my age, because I represent the older group here, by the way, um, you know, it's just like, well, you get to the point, you go, it's not about a diet, it's about being healthy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's about, okay, I want to prolong everything that I can and be healthy. What stops us from even those actions, even as Jenny, where she didn't have a lot and it was an obsession, her experience was more like being a mom. Uh -huh. You know, I don't have time. Well, I think that's a big thing, too. I think it's easy to have a conversation like this and start to think there's a better way out there. There's something but that I can do. But then how do you do it? Well, but, I mean, that's for the audience and the viewers at home. What's going to happen is they'll turn off the TV and start to think, I can't do that. I can't spend that kind of time on myself. I can't I've take... I've got kids or yeah. I've got this. And we, yeah. So how did you change your mindset? Well, that's, that's a good question. I think there was just a moment that I thought, you know what? I want more out of life. I deserve to be happy for my kids. And I deserve to be happy for my husband. They deserve a happy wife and a happy mom. My sisters deserve a happy sister to talk to, and I deserve to be happy. And when I looked at it that way and thought, this is the most unselfish thing that I can do for everybody. And isn't that opposite of what we've been taught as moms, especially because I'm a single mom? It's like, oh, I don't, I, I, you've got to give, 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 give. And we're so empty. We're like, we always refer to as the crazy lady with the empty mm -hmm. pitcher trying to fill up your kids' cups. And they're like, uh, crazy lady, there's nothing in my cup. So it's like the way she put it when she said, this was the most selfless thing I could have ever done. Like now her being near, near the tell she said how she's happy, her, she, her husband deserves happy, her I kids deserve that. happy. It is the most selfless thing you've ever done to take care of you. Tell us about your programs that are coming we've, up, Marcy. We've got a, a couple things coming up. We have um, a contest we've been running for a free spot for my 90-day program, that's $6,500 value. And this is ends December 25th at 9 p.m., so you can register. You guys should have the link, I believe. Um, so they can register there. We're also now starting a promo where we're offering $500 off the program to the first 50 people that sign up by January 15th, and they get some other percentages off on the DVDs and other stuff. And then we're going to hold um, a free speaking event where we're going to actually teach a lot of these tools and concepts to break through the mindset, the barriers that hold you back. That's going to be on January 12th. And then I'll teach the Saturday workout on Saturday the 14th. The information's on your screen, and we will also put it on our website, abc4.com, and then yeah. click on Good Things Utah and get excited about that mindset and changing it for the new year. Yeah. Jenny, Marcy, it's to be easy. Thank, thank, you. thank you for being here. Thank thank you. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.